Okay, this is part two on Trump's Las Vegas mass shooting speech, an act of pure evil. Trump said he was speaking to Christian uh, evangelical right, and he was also speaking in coded language to Freemasons, of which I believe he is of that order. Cannot prove it, but this speech says the buzzwords and the colorful esoteric language of the Freemasons and a coded message to those initiated out there that have eyes to see and ears to hear. Here we go. We'll continue on. goes for another four minutes. And if you've watched part one and the, the, the information I read from, the, from Apollyon Rising 2012, listen for the words and the language. They acted is miraculous and prevented further loss of life. To have found the shooter so quickly after the first shots were fired is something for which we will always be thankful and grateful. It shows what true professionalism is all about. Hundreds of our fellow citizens are now mourning the sudden loss of a loved one, a parent, a child, a brother or sister. We cannot fathom their pain. We cannot imagine their loss. To the families of the victims, we are praying for you, and we are here for you. And we ask God to help see you through this very dark period. Scripture teaches us the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. We seek comfort in those words, for we know that God lives in the hearts of those who grieve to the wounded who are now recovering in hospitals we are praying for your full and speedy recovery and pledge to you our support from this day forward in memory of the fallen i have directed that our great flag be flown at half staff i will be visiting las vegas on wednesday to meet with law enforcement first responders and the families of the victims. In moments of tragedy and horror, America comes together as one, and it always has. We call upon the bonds that unite us, our faith, our family, and our shared values. We call upon the bonds of citizenship, the ties of community, and the comfort of our common humanity. Our unity cannot be shattered by evil. Our bonds cannot be broken by violence. And though we feel such great anger at the senseless murder of our fellow citizens, it is our love that defines us today and always will forever. In times such as these, I know we are searching for some kind of meaning in the chaos, some kind of light in the darkness. Ooh. The answers do not come easy. Esoteric. But we can take solace knowing that even the darkest space can be brightened by the by light a single light of Lucifer. And even the most terrible despair can be illuminated. Be illuminated. By a single ray of hope. Melania and I I'm are praying for every American who has been hurt, wounded or lost the ones they love so dearly in this terrible, terrible attack. We pray for the entire nation to find unity and peace, and we pray for the day when evil is banished and the innocent are safe from hatred and from fear. May God bless the souls of the lives that are lost. May God give us the grace of healing, and may God provide the grieving families with strength to carry on. Thank you. God bless America. Thank you. All right, folks, you heard it. You heard the reference, references, the veiled references to light, darkness, rays of light, the illuminated. Uh, one scripture uh, so paraphrased you know it, it vaguely sounded like scripture 
Every reference to God, yeah, the God in the in God we trust, the eye of Horus on the one dollar bill. Satan the devil, Lucifer, the son of Osiris. This is what it's all about. Egyptian mythology worshipped within Freemasonic fraternities and lodges. Trump just laid it out on the line that the evil that he's talking about that will be rid is humanity. Anyone that doesn't side with their agenda, with the agenda of the Freemasonic order, the globalist elite. Well, thanks for listening. Trump's just laid it on the on the table. Who his masters are, who his handlers are, and with this carefully written script by a cult elite fraternities, whoever they are, they're occultists, they're Luciferians. Thanks for listening.